playing piano, something that most of you don't do because we have technology and the internet. But Rachel, I think you're forgetting who started this whole trend. Ray Hamilton! <laughs> Ray Hamilton, for those of you who don't know, invented the email in 1971, which then led to domestic use of the internet, which led to social networking and AIM. And memes. Yeah, and, you, and keyboard cat. Now, 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 now. Yeah, don't forget keyboard cat. So, what really led to Ray Thomas inventing email? You will find out in this video. Ugh, straight to voicemail again. Have you ever felt a lack of connection with anybody in your life? Maybe there was a separation. This is how Ray Thomas had felt when he moved to a very isolated village of Vail's Mill, New York. He was very far away from everybody and he had a lack of connection. Because of this, it spurred him about the email. never invented the email. So, what if he never moved to that small village of Vail Mills, New York, and never felt isolated? Maybe then he wouldn't have felt a need for a connection. What if instead he moved to Orsino, Florida? State news and John Glenn just successfully launched his one man space shuttle. Away! Wow, I love that he's from home in Florida. And I live right for the NASA Kennedy Space Center. If John Glenn can do it, then I can do it too. Now it's 1969, and because of my interest in the NASA Kennedy Space Center, I decided to work with Neil Armstrong on the Man on the Moon Project. Two, one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower clear. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting. What if 
Ray did really move towards, you know, Florida? What if he did get involved in NASA? And what if he did succeed in putting a man on the moon? And what if this success inspired him so much that he was inspired to develop a spaceship and a spacesuit that could withstand the conditions of Mars? So Ray Tomlinson put a man on Mars. Why stop at the moon? We can go to Mars. Ray Townsend would have gotten involved in NASA and now computers. Our lives would be completely different than what they are today.